So hey everybody, just got back from Dollar Tree. Thought I would um, pop over there to get a few necessary things and I really sort of stuck to my list. So it isn't that like mind boggling, exciting. Um, I haven't been there, God, I don't even know, three weeks, a month, something like that. And you know, the first place I go is always the makeup, but there really isn't anything. There isn't anything new, exciting to me. Um, basically I was in and out in 20 minutes and I've really never done that. I'm always circling the store trying to find, you know, something I've seen. But anyway, so this is what I got. So I'm, you know, like I said, fair warning, it's boring. Um, come on, Ellie. You want to come over here, baby? Um, I did find the bubble wrap. So that was, that was a good thing because, you know, Lori's, I want to get your stuff out. But um, I was like, oh man, went down one aisle, I didn't have it. And then I look up, like a top, top, top. If you don't look all over the place, you're going to miss something, seriously. So I was excited about this because this shit's expensive wherever you go. Like the post office, this will probably cost like five bucks, this little tiny roll. Um, I've already used my nose spray. I got three of these green babies. Um, the green are the best in my personal opinion. Um, I also went to get some light bulbs because I need to change some out that are more I don't want to say more bright but brighter let's just say um, I'm sort of on the lazy team now I've sort of gotten used to the K cups and I don't think I showed you guys may have may have not I don't know lucky had their McCafe pumpkin spice 12 K cups for like a dollar 95 so I bought a couple boxes and I'm just used to you know and nobody has the refillable bas baskets anymore. I can't find them. At least not Dollar Tree, not Lucky, unless they're like $5 million. So I'm not doing that. Um, I've been out of my wannabe sugar for a long time. So I've been eating, drinking, using in my coffee. Um, the, a green one that I got at Lucky. And I think it's, this is Stevia, I think. I'm not sure. I don't even know what this is. All I know is I love it. I hate the blue. I hate the pink. And now I hate the green. So thank God I got two of these. Um, I'm going to be bathing the girls today. These are really good and soft um, to really just not scrub them, but essentially scrub them. Um, so I got three of these. And then um, I needed a legal pad. Ever since I've cleaned this house, I can't find anything. Either I threw it out, oh, I don't need it, and then I'm like, yeah, well, I sort of needed it. So I had to buy one of those. Bunnies? Oh, you did go pee-pee, huh? Good girl. Um, I needed some more Parmesan cheese. Yeah, it's the real stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm not that picky. Um, treated myself to some nails. Trust me, nothing exciting. Um, where's the other one? God knows. Anyway, I bought four of them. I guess we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, these are just the French manicure style. Sorry for the glare. And then um, these are a little bit different with the polka dots. What I'm going to do with these babies is, of course, cover them up because these suck. These are driving me crazy. They're just ghetto. I don't like them. I've already had a man down like a number of times. These, I'm just not a pink person. I've just never been. I'm not a gold person. So you put pink and gold and it's just they don't fit right. So I'm going to work on these babies today. And they had a bunch of Revlon polish. So I'm going to take this one out. Um, I think this is the... Yeah, this is the perfume one, um, but my sniffer does not work, so Casey, Casey, you're going to get a bath pretty soon, baby, okay? Oh, I should have scissors or something. Oh, what does it matter if I screw these nails up anyway? It's like Fort Knox. It is like flipping Fort Knox. Oh my God, just to open this. Jesus. So this is the color. It is Surf Spray Scented Nail Enamel and number 50. 
So I thought this was super pretty. I'm gonna cover these babies up. Um, let's see if it smells. Ooh, you know what? It smells like nail polish. It doesn't smell like any perfume, in my opinion. Maybe it's because it's old. And you know what? This is very, very, very thin. It's gonna take like multiple coats. Damn. Felt like I don't have all day to do it. Um, this is something I've never seen over there, is the Jumbo Biscuits. So I should be having company, I believe, next Friday, God willing. So um, we're going to have some beef stew and definitely some biscuits. This is just going to come in handy. I don't want to make anything. I don't want to do anything. I'm just not feeling it. And then I also found everybody's been buying these. Um, I'm not wild about the key lime. I could take it or leave it. I mean, whatever. So I got this for dessert for us. Again, it's just something easy to make. It's good for two people, you know, at two meals. Um, if she wants it or if I even want it. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Um, I've been looking for these forever. I finally had to um, go to Pet Club and get like 120 of them for like $5. But... Um, I like these little cheap ones to keep in the house when they do their business in their little um, pee pee area with the pee pee pads. So that's where that's going to go. Casey, you need a bath so bad. Casey, please, baby, please. Okay. Um, this is a repurchase. I love these Lysol click on a jobber things. It makes your bowl smell really good. Um, I couldn't find, they were really out of stock of a lot of things. Um, they didn't have like the the toilet drop-ins. I was made myself. I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy the Airwick knockoff Airwick canister that you stick in your Airwick container. You know, the the little puff that goes. You know, you can set it so it puffs at any time. They had none, and I was like, oh man, I was gonna try it this time, but they didn't have it. Casey, Casey, please, sweetheart. This dog is itching like a son of a bitch. Um, this is always good to have on hand. I am going through this like crazy. Just make sure nobody touched it. Um, because I'm having a lot of, let's be honest, gas, reflux, whatever you want to call it. Um, my doctor said to try Pepsid. That is not working at all. So what I did was I got two different varieties of the Zantac. And just an FYI, be very careful when you buy this shit. Literally, the first three boxes I opened, it was empty. And I would have been really pissed off if I would have bought an empty box. Because Dollar Tree is like 25 minutes away. It isn't like, oh, I'm going to go down the street and I'm going to exchange it. It's like, this would be a waste of gas to go back for a dollar. So, this has eight tablets. This is the 150. Um, and then this is the 75 for two. Explain to me that when you get it's the higher amount you get more and the lower amount you get less. I don't know. So Casey, please, baby, I'm gonna give you a bath in a minute, okay? Um, so I'm gonna reread her email and see um, what dosage I should take. So we're gonna do that as well. Um, like I said, I bought three nose sprays. Thank the dear Lord they had the green because already. I can breathe. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, that red shit just burns my nose, and this just opens my nose. So, I don't know. Um, I needed some toothpaste. Who is licking? Is that Lexi? Case, Kamiley? 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 It's bath day today. It's a raining bastard. Um, you can see the sun a little bit coming in and out, but it's a shitty day. I'm going to wash the girls. I'm going to try to stay busy, keep my mind occupied um it's just very 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 hard here's the other one i was looking for so i'm gonna do that um i got mika some treats and did i say sponges yeah i got the scrub daddy scrub up oh scrub buddy sorry so i got two of these because i was completely out oh bunnies we'll be done in a minute okay and then again i thought i would treat myself to actually, you know, something other than the Dollar Tree dishwashing liquid because it, 
it does it okay, but I really, really, really want to wash and get a good wash um, from the Cascade, especially if I'm having company. So, you know, I don't want dishwater spots and stuff like that. So I decided to get that. And then um, more K-Cups. Did I get two of the same? Yeah, they're just the Colombian. They also had the French vanilla, but I'm, mm, I don't want vanilla every day. And then I've been desperately wanting some knockoff post-its. So I got two of these, one just plain, one lined. I've been wanting to, you know, write stuff down and stick stuff on the refrigerator. And I'm using this old whiteboard. It's driving me nuts. So I think I'm going to like toss that and just only use um, post-its. Maybe, you know, put up seven for the week and then, you know, one per day. So I can, you know, have my list, see my list and be a little bit more in control than out of control, which I feel like my life is going right now. Um, foil. I normally would have bought the 30, bought, not bought in, bought the 30, whatever brand that is, but I thought, you know what, I want, I want the smaller. It's, it's only me. I'm not doing anything with it other than covering a bowl or covering food or something. So I like these better. They're easier to get out as well than the um, 30s. And then I got um, two boxes of Kleenex. I can never, never, never have enough Kleenex. More sponges, more cat stuff, um, corn, which I don't think was such a great idea considering, you know, the whole gas situation. But I'm not going to eat that anytime soon, at least I don't think I am. Um, two cans of food. Because the cats will probably be in for a couple days, if not just today. So they'll be happy. And then I've been wanting to get some sea salt for a long time. Um, I actually do have some. I think it's super, super, super old. I'm going to toss that out today. And this is not only the, the sea salt, it's the fine sea salt. So I did buy the Himalayan, the, the grinder. Sometimes I just don't feel like grinding. I just want to grab, toss, go. I don't want to sit there and deal with anything and then the last thing I actually went for and remember to get thank God again is the shower curtain because mine is disgusting so these are really good in a pinch they're not fantastic but you know for a buck versus me spending you know five to eight at Target or something this this will do me so yeah that is um that's it I'm sorry, nothing exciting. Like I said, I did try. I went by the makeup twice. I thought maybe I had missed something. Um, honestly, I haven't been watching a lot of videos. Um, people are, you know, all jacked for Easter and that I'm not. Um, I'm not into stickers anymore. I'm not into basically anything anymore. Just like necessities-ish. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. See, it's just, I don't know what to eat anymore. I have the worst, worst gassing, belching, sorry, it's part of life, um, last night. I had some ravioli. It was, I think, spinach and mushroom um, because it is Lent. So I'm trying to be a good Catholic, I guess. And, um, you know, Fridays are no meat. So I thought, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll have this. And I'll just put a little butter and a little, actually, of this Parmesan cheese. And I had a piece of garlic bread. Maybe it was a garlic bread. Now that I think about it. I don't know. All I know, it was, I was uncomfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Um, another thing, as long as I have you here, so it's going to be DT and story time, I guess. Um, whose tummy was that? Huh? I heard somebody's tummy. Anyway, um, I haven't been feeling well. <sighs> like I said, it's it's just I we can't pin down what's wrong, if anything's wrong. Um, like I said in previous videos, all my lab work is fine. Um, you know, don't diabetes, my cholesterol's fine, thank God. Um your analysis, but something 
and and forgive me if I'm repeating myself I rarely watch my own videos back so I think I say something and maybe I don't and then maybe I do um, what really really hit me hard I guess this past week was hearing about Bob Harper um, the guy from the biggest loser really kind of put me into a tailspin I was like, wow, you know, and then you hear on the Today Show, the anchors, and then you hear Entertainment Tonight, you know, go get yourself checked out, go get a baseline EKG. So that's what I did. Normally, I would run the other way. I would, you know, ignore. Sorry, that was a cattail that just cruised by. Um, you know, but we're all getting older. I'm certainly not 30 anymore. I'm certainly not 20 anymore. My grandfather, my grandmother, um, my dad, well, actually, stop, wait, re, you know, reverse. My dad, my grandmother and my grandfather both died of massive heart attacks. And my grandfather, I believe, was 65. And my grandmother, I believe, was like 72, I think. I'm not sure. They lived in Canada. So, I mean, and I never met my grandfather. So my dad had a history of heart problems, but he wasn't really on medication. It was just a weird kind of like he would see a cardiologist, he would be on medication and then he would go off the medication, but he would be fine. So it was just like he, he has a history. He had a history of, um, my brother has had a history, half brother, you know, dad's dad's son. So it's on dad's side. Um, so I just got really, really, really scared, paranoid and email my doctor. And I said, you know, I really think it's a good idea. I go see, I'm making sure this is not going to fall, which is, Ooh, it's really close to falling. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to pause you. Okay. So I think we'll be okay for a couple of minutes. I better just cut this, you know, short cause the tablet is looking like it's going to fall. So, um, was in contact with my doctor and I had the most phenomenal doctor and doctor's office. I recently found, I've had her for a month. We communicate via email. Everything's at their office. It, it's just fantastic. So I went yesterday to get an EKG. Um, I haven't got the results yet. I was hoping to get the results, um, yesterday. She normally doesn't work Fridays, but she was there, but I don't know why the results, you know, she didn't get to them. So it actually didn't cost me a dime, a dime, nothing. But let me ask you guys this that have had an EKG recently. I kid you not. It took longer to put the leads on than it did the actual test. The test was like seconds and she ran it twice. The tech, not the doctor. And I was like, I thought she was running like a test on the machine to make sure it was reading correctly. And before I knew it, I'm literally like, no, you're done. I'm like, you just got these things on. She said, I told you, right? So is that like legit? I, I mean, I haven't had one in a minute. Honestly, I probably haven't had one 30 years, probably during my last panic attack episode. Probably I was 20 or something. 21. I don't know, whatever it was. So I was like, um, okay, got off, got dressed and got out. You know, but I'm still like, I guess has modern technology come that far that you, it's seconds, not minutes. I don't know. So comment below if you have had um, an EKG recently, and that has been your experience. You know, granted, like I said, this is a primary care physician. This is not a cardiologist. So maybe they just have a quickie machine. I, I don't know, but I'm still like, you know, I still want her to give me the results of my test and, you know, again, ask her. Um, so this is like for sure. This isn't just, you know, we think it looks good or we think you'll be okay type thing. I don't, I don't need that. I need for sure. So anyways, um, I had that done yesterday and I'm just, um, I'm just waiting for the results, but I still don't feel good. I still have this. It's better this morning. It's better right now. 
Maybe because I belched myself into an oblivion. Um, but I just can't figure out what's going on. I went out to lunch. God, maybe now. Um, five or six weeks ago with a friend. And we went to an Asian restaurant. Somewhere I had never been before. Something I had never eaten before. And I swear to God, I came home that night. I was miserable. And ever since that day, I've been miserable. And I thought, you know, it's going to go away. It's going to go away. I'm going to feel better. I don't eat spicy stuff. I don't drink a lot of soda. I have one little tiny, possibly maybe, 7-Up a day. The small can. I have one cup of coffee. I've even cut that back. Um, and I drink primarily water. So... You know, I don't eat a lot of spicy food. I can't, I can't figure out where this is coming from. She swears up and down my doctor that I don't have an ulcer. Um, but unless you can visually see through my skin or send me to, you know, gastroenteritis, gastro, gastro doctor. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Probably gastroenteritis. No, gastro, I don't know, fill in the blank. I'm, I'm just like not feeling it this morning. Um, that may be the next step. You think I want to scope down my throat? Absolutely not. Do you think I want the cost of that? Absolutely not. Um, all I know is I really can't live like this anymore. It's just, you shouldn't have to live in pain. You shouldn't have to live in with the not knowing of what's wrong with you. If there's anything, you know. So I'm hoping the, um, whatever I did with them, I better find them fast. The, um. Hopefully we'll kick in because I've been really diligent about taking the Pepsi a half an hour before I eat. I take it before I wake up. I mean, when I wake up and then I don't, you know, I'm probably, let's not say diligent, but like 20 minutes. Um, I've been living on liquid antacid, you know, kind of the Milanta stuff. Nothing's helping. So prayers, please, that oh, my test come out's okay. And, um. I can figure this out because it sucks being alone. It sucks worrying and worrying and worrying. And you don't know what's going on with your own body. So trying to make, you know, better, healthier choices and trying to figure this out. So take care, everybody. And thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. And, um... I guess I will see you when I see you. Bye.